Hey guys, it is day 31 and the third straight month in a row that I have been vlogging continuously. <sighs> anyway, here's today's useless fact. Let's see, 91. Electricity. Here we go. The U.S. is the greatest consumer of electricity in the world using 3.892 trillion kilowatts. Uh, the 2007 estimate, while China is a close second. Electric eels can generate an enormous electrical charge to stun prey or dissuade predators. Their bodies contain electric organs with 6,000 specialized cells called electrocytes that store power like tiny batteries. When threatened or attacking prey, these cells will discharge simultaneously to release 600 volts of electricity, five times the power of a standard U.S. wall socket. Electric eels are not actually eels, and their scientific classification is closer to carp and catfish. Huh. Really? Thales of Miletus, 600 BC, found that amber attracted small particles when rubbed. In fact, that certain objects such as rods of amber could, rub could be rubbed with cat's fur and attract light objects like feathers was known to ancient cultures around the Mediterranean. Static electricity is produced when one object takes negative charges from another object. Amber, a material created by fossilized tree sap, is a very good accumulator of static charge. For example, amber will become negatively charged when rubbed with wool, so when a piece of amber is charged up, it can pick up feathers and other light objects by electrostatic induction. Science! And that's it for today's useless facts. Hey guys, so, as I had said earlier today this morning, uh, today is day 91, and I have been vlogging for three straight months. <sighs> so I'm now a quarter away, yeah, I'm a quarter away done uh, with my year-long project. Okay. Wow, that didn't really take long at all. So, anyway. Three straight months. Anyway, for those of you who are keeping count, I'm doing a 30-31-30-31 day count here. That's how I'm uh, determining how many uh, months I've uh, gone through. So, um, yeah. Three straight months. Although I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do once I hit February. This is going to be 28. That's going to be a bit odd. Anyway, I still have some months to go before I get to that point. Uh, <clears throat> hmm. Wow, three straight months. Anyway, went to work today. Uh, as some of you may remember from last week, I uh, had started listening to the um, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey audiobook. That's right. Um, well, you know, and I already said curiosity. But as for the audio part, um, I'm a bit of a slow reader. Seriously, I read really, really slow. And, and, and oops. Uh, and a novel like Fifty Shades of Grey, I've seen how big that book is. I've seen how big it is. And I estimate that that book would have taken me five years to finish if I had actually read it. So, and I did the same thing with the Harry Potter books. I can't read it because it will take me forever to get through them. Five years for just one book. So, yeah. 
Uh, do not feel like struggling for that long. I don't know why, I just can't read fast, so... I don't know, I guess I never learned that trick. Anyway... Uh... Where was I going with this? Oh yeah, that's right. Finished Fifty Shades of Grey uh, today at work. And, um... So, how about some of my thoughts on this... Amazing read. Um... Well, uh, first of all, I'm just going to say that I liked it, but before I uh, praise it any further, I just have a few things I want to say. One, oh my, oh my, oh my, that, that phrase just kept on repeating over and over and over. I mean, how many times? Did she have to say, oh my? I mean, I guess I kind of understand why she would say that, but... Still. Hmm. Next thing. Oh my goodness, you two. Just use Instant Messenger. Seriously, they just keep emailing each other back and forth. Back and forth, and... E.L. James, she just had to write down the entire thing. Like, from, blah, yada, 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 to, yada, 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 subject, yada, 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 and then yada, 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 yada. Just use Instant Messenger, you two. Uh, that's kind of a moot, um, commentary, though. Uh... What else? Uh, okay, let's jump to the ending of this wonderful tale, shall we? <clears throat> Hold on, let me reenact my exact exp my exact reaction at work when this book finished. I don't know if that was even close. But yeah, it was kind of jaw-dropping. Um, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. One final thing. Be before I praise it any further. Anymore. What the hell? It's because of books like these that women have such a messed up image of what the perfect man is, isn't it? It's because of books like these. I mean, am I right or am I wrong? Books like these are the reason why. I don't even know. Wow. And this is what women envision the perfect man to be? Really? 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 No wonder why some of the, no wonder why so many women end up lonely or being desperate, yeah, desperate housewives. Really? Really? Honestly, really? This is... Okay, I can understand that in a rare, rare in, uh, occasion, a man like this might come along. Very rare. But they might come along. But to expect every man to fall into... to be a... What am I trying to say? To expect every man to be a Christian Grey without the s and part. Um, or maybe with the s and part, who knows. Uh, really? I mean, what normal guy can compete with that? Honestly! Oh. 
it's unrealistic to hold all men to that kind of uh, expectation. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, anyway. Okay, enough of that. Um, anyway, for the most part, I did like the book. Or audiobook. No, I'll consider it a book. Because it is the exact words in the book. It's just read to me. <laughs> it's very fascinating, actually. Um, uh, especially the uh, world of like submissives and dominance and all that S and M stuff. Um, yeah. I thought it was well written. Uh, E.L. James, she does have some... Well, there were some passages that just seemed really, really insightful. So, uh, right. And, um, I don't know, just in general, I did like the book, so. Now, what really got me to uh, want to um, uh, read this book, or at least get the audio book, was my girlfriend. She read the book. So, uh, there's where the curiosity stands. Like, what was it that she was reading? Is she going to expect any of this in our relationship? And yada yada yada. So I just uh, f figured, okay, you know what, to uh, understand her better, to uh, understand her uh, likes, um, oh, you know, um, figured, why not, check out the book. Now I can't wait to start on the rest of the books. Awesome. So next book up is Fifty Shades Darker. Okay, well, I don't know what else I'm going to be doing today. Probably finally working on the uh, script for Macabre Fair Af uh, Film Festival Afterthoughts. Who knows? Well, until tomorrow, see ya.